according to a new investigation. It turns out that many of the popular fast food joints here in America are selling products that are labeled as quote unquote chicken, but inside there are a slew of other ingredients, things like seaweed, beef, soy, protein powder, and even wood pulp. Furthermore, this investigation found that in some of these fast food restaurants, their so-called chicken products were comprised of only 60% meat, with the other 40% being things like additives, preservatives, and other different proteins. And again, these are not some random restaurants that you might have never even heard of before. Instead, these are chains that are probably within five minutes of your house. Wendy's, McDonald's, Subway, Jack in the Box, Dairy Queen, and so on and so forth. And so let's go through the findings of this report together. Although before we dive in, there are two caveats that I'll need to throw out before we do. The first is that this investigation was conducted by The Daily Meal. So big shout out to them. I'll in fact throw their full analysis. It'll be down in the description box below. But in so saying, we here at the Epic Times, we did not test these food items for ourselves. We did, however, reach out to the individual fast food chains to get their comment. However, none of them have gotten back to us thus far. If any of them do get back to us after we already publish this episode, I'll throw their comments in the description box below. Whatever they write back, I'll throw it in the description box below. And then secondly, if you appreciate content like this, well, I do hope you take a quick moment to smash those like and subscribe buttons, which will force the YouTube algorithm to share this video out to ever more people. Now, let's dive into the report, starting with Wendy's, which for your reference, has about 6,000 locations throughout the US. According to the analysis, in the patty of Wendy's classic chicken sandwich, only 56% of the meat is actually chicken breast. The other 44% is a mixture of water, wheat flour, starch, different types of acids, spices, as well as flavoring powers. It also includes some other things like fully refined soybean oil, a raising agent to give it more bulk, as well as some other unusual ingredients like dehydrated chicken powder and smoke flavoring. Now, things like spices and flavorings are to be expected, but the fact that this report says that they comprise about 44% of the actual chicken patty, well, that is surprising to say the least. Next up is Carl's Jr., which has about 955 locations throughout the US. And Carl Jr.'s chicken nuggets can always be identified from the other brands by their unique shape. They come in the shape of a star. However, according to the ingredients analysis, well, the shape isn't the only, you can say, unique thing about these so-called chicken nuggets. Because outside of just chicken meat, they also include things like beef fat, as well as beef flavoring, which is made up of three different types of protein, including hydrolyzed soy, wheat, and corn protein. Then, as for Carl Jr.'s spicy chicken sandwich, within the patty, it contains isolated oat product, whatever that is, while interestingly, within the bun, it contains microcrystalline cellulose, which for reference is a type of refined wood pulp. Very cool. Moving on, we get to everyone's favorite footlong sandwich shop, Subway, which just for reference has about 20,000 locations all across America. According to the analysis, Subway's oven roasted chicken contains flavorings, potato starch, as well as something called carrageenan. Now, carrageenan is a chemical which is technically safe to eat, and it's made from parts of different red seaweeds. It doesn't really contain any nutritional value, and instead it's just used to thicken the food. And just as an aside, besides this analysis that we're going through now, a few years ago, over in Ireland, a court ruled that Subway's bread cannot actually be classified as being bread. Their rationale was that it contained too much sugar to be considered bread, and was therefore more akin to something like a pastry. For your reference, Subway's six inch Italian white bread contains about five grams of sugar meaning that the footlong would contain about 10 grams of sugar. That is about five times what can legally be defined as bread over in Ireland. Now, of course, the U.S. has different laws, and quite frankly, maybe because of those laws, we have a more unhealthy population. Regardless of that, though, getting back to this list, the next fast food joint on the list is Jack in the Box, with about 2,100 locations across the U.S. On their menu, they have quite a few different chicken-based offerings, including chicken tenders as well as chicken nuggets. And this analysis, it found that besides chicken, these products also contain wheat, milk, water, potato starch, as well as isolated oat product. Again, whatever that means. Next, we move on to Whataburger, with about 946 locations throughout the U.S. According to this report, quote, a significant proportion of the chain's southern-style chicken strips are not pure chicken meat. It then goes on to say that about 12% of the quote-unquote chicken tender contains ingredients like water, sodium phosphate, as well as isolated soy protein. 
And for your reference, that last ingredient, the isolated soy protein, it's derived from soybeans, and it's typically added to processed foods as a way to bulk them out. Next up, we have Burger King, which has a whopping 7,200 locations across America. And in terms of their chicken nuggets, the analysis found that besides containing chicken, they also contain a host of other flavorings, things like autolyzed yeast extract, disodium guanolate, which is a type of salt, and they're injected with water in order to bulk them out. Next up is Domino's Pizza, with about 6,700 locations across the U.S. And of course, while they are mostly known for their pizzas, they also offer things like chicken tenders as well as chicken nuggets on their menu, and you can always get chicken as a topping on your pizza. However, like with the other fast food joints on the list, the ingredients don't end at simple chicken. Instead, Domino's Grilled Chicken contains quite a bit of modified food starch, including modified corn starch, modified general food starch, as well as lipolized butter oil. Now, for your reference, these modified food starches are usually put into the food as a thickener and an emulsifier in order to improve their texture and also to make it last longer on the shelf. And technically, of course, it is safe to eat, but if you're looking for 100% real chicken on your pizza, well, you might have to look elsewhere. Next up on the list is Dairy Queen, which has a cool 4,300 locations across the U.S. According to this analysis, Dairy Queen's chicken strips contain a significant percentage of ingredients other than just pure chicken meat. Specifically, Dairy Queen's tenderloin chicken fritters, they contain up to 18% of a solution of water, hydrolyzed soy protein, salt, as well as sodium phosphates. And just for your reference, like many of the other ingredients that we've been mentioning, sodium phosphate is used to improve the chicken's texture and to help keep it fresher for longer. Now, a representative for Dairy Queen did release a statement, and here's what they said, quote, our chicken strips are 100% seasoned white meat chicken. Each chicken strip is a single tenderloin that is marinated and breaded for maximum flavor. While we provide our ingredient list to the public on DairyQueen.com, we refrain from providing the exact recipe or ingredient percentage for competitive reasons. All right, next up on the list is... Wait, is it raining money? Or rather, I should say that this is fake money being printed into oblivion by those geniuses over in Washington, D.C. And so before they completely obliterate your life savings, what I recommend you do is to convert that fake money into real money, which is physical gold and silver. And the best company to use is the sponsor of today's episode, American Hartford Gold, who also happens to be my own personal gold and silver bullion dealer. Now, American Hartford Gold is one of the best companies in the game. Besides myself, they have thousands of other five-star ratings across the country. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. They ship quickly, directly to your doorstep. Their product listings are awesome. They're stacked with great options of gold and silver bullion and coins. And best of all, they have amazing customer service. When you pick up the phone and call them, you feel good because not only do they have friendly staff, but they're a patriotic company that actually sponsors a program like ours. So you feel good knowing you support a company that supports the truth getting out into the wider American audience. And so calling them up is a no brainer. But best of all, if you tell them that Roman sent you, they will throw in up to $5,000 worth of free silver with your first purchase. So giving them a call is a real no brainer. So hit them up. It's 866-242-2352. That's 866-242-2352. Two four two twenty three fifty two, or you can simply text the word Roman R O M A N Roman to six five five three two Roman to six five five three two. Of course, all their details will be down in the description box below. And now let's head on back to the studio. Next up is Arby's with about thirty four hundred locations across the U S. According to this report, Arby's buttermilk chicken fillet contains a rather surprising ingredient in order to help enhance its flavor, and that ingredient is concentrated protein powder. Now. That is something that's typically consumed by athletes and bodybuilders as a way to bulk up. But in this case, it's a way for the food to gain some extra texture and, as always, to last longer in the shelf. Next up, we have White Castle with about 345 locations across the U.S. And the first thing you might notice about White Castle's chicken offering is that it doesn't quite look like other chicken products. Instead, the White Castle chicken rings, they look like onion rings, but made out of chicken, which is the first indication that perhaps there is something else inside of there besides 100% chicken. And indeed, the analysis found that these chicken rings contain, for one, carrageenan, the red seaweed extract that's used for bulking, as well as, funny enough, powdered cooked chicken, in order to, I can only guess, give it a more chicken-like flavor. Next up on the list is Del Taco, with about 600 locations across America. And according to the analysis, in terms of their grilled chicken taco, well, besides chicken, they contain many seasonings as well as flavorings, which is quite frankly expected given the fact that they have such a spicy flavor. But there are a few other ingredients that are a bit more surprising, including dried whey protein concentrate, hydrolyzed soy protein, corn syrup solids, 
corn gluten, gelatin, as well as maltodextrin, which is an ultra-processed ingredient designed to boost the taste of sweetness within the chicken products. And last up, we have McDonald's, with about 13,000 locations throughout the U.S. And according to the report, besides containing white boneless chicken, well, the iconic Chicken McNugget, well, it contains several different types of flour, starch, a range of different vegetable oils, different flavorings and spices, lemon juice salads, dextrose, which is in there for sweetness, corn flour, yeast extract, as well as a fairly significant amount of salt. And so, there you have it. Fast food chains across the nation are selling products labeled as chicken, but inside there are a slew of other additives, preservatives, and other types of proteins in order to bulk the food up, keep the cost low, have it last in the shelf for longer, and give it a richer texture in your mouth. In total, the report actually uncovered over 120 different ingredients that were hidden within these chicken burgers, chicken nuggets, and other chicken products. If you'd like to go through the report in its entirety for yourself, again, it will be down there in the description box below. Just click on that link and you can read it in its entirety. And lastly, I'd like to mention that besides all these preservatives and additives, well, there's something else coming down the pipe in terms of our food supply that you should be aware of, and that is mRNA vaccine technology. Over on Epic TV, which is our awesome no censorship video platform, I just published a super spicy episode detailing the current state of edible mRNA vaccines, the research behind them, as well as the push to get them into our food supply, which might be a lot more advanced than you've probably realized. Now, unfortunately, even though everything in that episode is 100% fact-based, well, that topic is not really welcome here on YouTube. And so if you'd like to check out that exclusive episode, you can do so over on Epic TV, which is again our awesome no censorship video platform. The link to that edible mRNA vaccine episode will be right there at the very, very, very top of the description box. Just click on that link and you can head on over to Epic TV and watch that episode right away. And then until next time, I'm your host, Roman from the Epic Times. Stay informed and most importantly, stay free. Mm -hmm.